Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to enable multiple RDP sessions in Windows Server. So this Windows Server can be any of the versions like Windows Server 2016, 2019 and latest version 2022. And RDP means we are already aware remote desktop connections. Okay. So for remote desktop connections, if you want to enable multiple sessions, in general, we require a licensing server. And if you already install the remote desktop services on any of the centralized server, we are good to enable the multiple RDP sessions. So to do that, uh, let me log into our lab system and I will show you how we can enable. So let's say I log into the Windows Server, one of the lab system. So go to the Windows Server, start, run, and type the command gpedit.msc. When we type gpedit.msc, you can see local group policy editor. We have a two sections, computer configuration and user configuration. Under compute configuration, select administrative templates, expand. When you expand the administrative templates and we can choose the option for Windows components. So when you select the Windows components, again expand and go to the remote desktop services. So when you type R, you can redirect it to the remote desktop services. When you select remote desktop services, under remote desktop services, we have to choose remote desktop session host. So select the remote desktop session host and expand. There is a connection option. Okay, this is the path. I repeat again, under compute configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, under Windows components, go to the remote desktop services, under remote desktop services, choose remote desktop session host, expand, and you can choose the connections. When you select the connections in the right side, there is a multiple settings. So here, the main key settings are, look for a restricted remote desktop services user. Suppose you can see here, restrict remote desktop, service user. If you see this option, by default, restrict remote desktop services user to a single remote desktop services session. Default of any server is logged with a one single session only. So that means it is in the non-configured state. If you want to configure, just right click here, edit, when you click on edit, you can see three options, not configured, enable, and disable. Suppose if I select the disable, you can see the description in the right side notes. If you enable this policy, the settings users who log on to remotely by user using remote desktop services will be restricted to a single session. So that means enable is the not recommend option. We have to choose disable option. If you select disable option, if you disable this policy setting, users are allowed to make unlimited simultaneous remote desktop connections by using remote desktop services. So the recommendation is disable option. Okay. So now apply and click on okay. So this is the one option. And another setting to enable multiple RDP session is choose limit number of connections. See, even if you select the limit number of connections section is show state is currently not configured. So now we are going to configure. Even here also, if you want to enable the session, just select as enable. And even when you select the enable, RD, remote desktop maximum connections allowed by default maximum is, there are multiple nines. Okay, so you can increase what, how many sessions you want. You can enable the, those many sessions. Let's say for testing purpose, I'm just enabling maximum sessions 100. In future, if you want to increase, you can increase. So just select apply and okay. So I repeat two options. One is restriction option you can disable and limit number of connections based on your licenses, licenses limit. You can set the limit. But in our lab, for testing purpose, I just enabled multiple. So currently how we can test is, let's say currently to verify how many users in this session is lusrmgr.msc. In our current uh, system, we have a three users, administrator, admin one, and admin two. And also this system is not a joint to domain. If it is joined to domain, you can use test with the multiple domain admin account. Currently the system is in a work group only, not joined to domain. And it is running with a Windows Server 2016, the same steps applicable for a 2019, 2022. And now, if we have already login user who if you want to verify current login user who am i command you can see
see current login user is admin one. So minimize this one. I am trying to connect this server with a another user. Even if you go to the task manager and we can see how many users are logged into the server. Currently user sessions are only admin one login and admin two is disconnected state. So either you can use administrator account to connect back or you can use admin two. So for testing purpose, I'm just minimizing this desktop connection. I'm trying to type the one more MSTSC session and we can try to log into the server. I'm just giving the IP address and click on connect and connect. And we can try with a another user account. Let's say earlier we log in with the admin one. This time I'm giving the account is admin two and enter the password. So now we are able to log in. So once we log into the server, just go to the task manager and we can see how many sessions are logged in. Because we already enabled the feature for limit restriction, we already increase the count. Remote desktop connection is disconnected, but it is working. Yeah, see, just minimize here. Go to the task manager and more details and you can see the user session currently there are two sessions are connected state because we already edit the group policy we edit the group policy setting to multiple remote desktop sessions okay that's it uh, we got the idea and we also validated multiple sessions are logged into our remote our remote lab server okay so let back to the slide At the same points what we discussed i quickly recap so you log into the server where remote desktop services are installed and start run and type the command is gpedit.msc and go to the compute configuration, administrator template, Windows component, remote desktop services, choose the remote desktop session host and go to the connection section and change the set restrict remote desktop service user to a single services session is the default option. Just change it to disable. Okay, and double click limit number of connection, set remote desktop maximum connections allowed. The maximum limit is there are how many nines? Totally six nines. Either you can keep the nines or based on your customer license limitation, you can set the specific number. And even first we log in with admin one session for testing purpose, I try to test with another user. Both users are successfully logged into our lab system. Okay. Hope you got an idea how to enable a multiple RDP session in a Windows server. If this is applicable for any of the server edition or also the client edition. Okay, the same procedure. That's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.